have a map here of Chicago. If I wanted to get from where I'm at right now to Chicago, I would need a GPS. A GPS comes in handy. Your dad or your mom might have used their GPS to help them find places they haven't been to before. Sometimes roads can be confusing and it's good to have directions. Did you know that the Bible is like a GPS? No, the Bible doesn't tell us how to get to the mall or to the park, but it does tell us how to get to heaven. The Bible is God's message to us. In the Bible, God tells us everything we need to know. He gives us the directions for living our lives. God wants us to know all about himself and about his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. He wants us to know that the Lord Jesus died for us and came alive again three days later. He wants us to know how important it is to be loving, kind, and honest. God tells us so much in his word. That's why it's important to read what he says. But before we read God's words, we need to know how to find the words we're looking for. Let's choose a verse for our destination. The reference tells us the book, chapter, and number where the verse is found. Another word for reference is address. If we know the address of the verse, we can find it in the Bible. Let's find Psalm 119.11. That's the verse we'll be learning later today. Here are four Bible GPS directions to find an address in the Bible. Number one, the Bible has two testaments. The first Bible GPS direction is to figure out whether the verse is in the Old Testament or the New Testament. The Old Testament starts with the book of Genesis and the first book of the New Testament is Matthew. So here is the Old Testament and here is the New Testament. Is Psalms in the Old Testament or New Testament? That's right, the Old Testament. So, the Bible has 66 books inside of it. We have figured out that Psalms is in the Old Testament. The Old Testament has 39 books. The New Testament has 27 books. Altogether, the Bible has 66 books. Wait, we have found the second direction in our Bible GPS, the book. What book is this? That's right, Psalms. The third Bible GPS direction is to find the chapter. Each book is made up of chapters. Everyone starts with chapter one. This one's chapter 119. So I've already got it marked because that's a long way away from one. The fourth Bible GPS direction is to find the verse. Each chapter is made up of verses. So it starts at one right here and then goes to 11 where it says there's Psalm 119 11 I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you we found it good job Sparkies let's try it again remember that our first direction is to figure out which testament we need so let's try John 3 16 all right so do you know if John is in the Old Testament or New Testament? That's right, it is the New Testament. So it's in this section right here. That's right. Our second Bible GPS direction is to find the book. Let's see if we can find the book of John. And yeah, I already put a marker in there. So remember, we're looking for John 3.16. So next we need the three, which is the chapter. And there's chapter three. Good. And then we're going to find the rest of the address, which is 16, which is verse 16. Very good. You did it. Let's say it together. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Great job, Sparkies. One of the activities we'll be doing each week is memorizing a verse. Does anyone know what it means to memorize? Good job. Memorize means to remember what you have learned so that you can say it without looking at the words or numbers. For instance, who can tell me your home address? 
Oh, some of you could. Some of you will learn that. You memorized your address. You did not have to look at the numbers of your house or the street sign to tell us where you live. How about a song you might have sang before? Do you look up the words and sing them? You memorize them, that's right. Each week we'll choose one verse from the Bible to memorize. We will learn it so well that we can say it without looking at the words or numbers on a page. That way God's word will be inside our heart and our mind and we can remember that them whenever we want. Wow, we have learned so much today. We will go over what we have learned in the coming weeks to help you remember. So Sparkies, here are two important truths to remember from today's lesson. Number one, the Bible is God's message to us. And two, memorizing God's word helps us keep it in our hearts and minds. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for helping us learn your word and hide it in our hearts. We love you. Amen.